Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to explain how to customize a modal dialog in Pega. So uh, here is a modal dialog. This is a custom template given by Pega. And what we will do is uh, just customize some basic uh, things like the size, also the background color, uh, the bottoms at the bottom. And as well, I'm going to show you how you can change the name on the title. So let's start. Okay, so I'll start by opening the section where my link is located. And I'm going to actions. And I'm going to open the full action uh, for my model. And here in short description, I'm going to, we can place anything any description that we want here I'm just going to leave the same but with the spaces this is going to be the title for the model window and in the action tab we can modify the actions buttons at the bottom of the window I'm going to enable hide the default action section buttons and I'm clicking on save so this will hide the uh, bottoms we had at the, at the bottom of the window Okay, so as you can notice, the title of my model has changed as well. I don't have the buttons on my model. So now I'm going to change the size of my model window as well. I'm going to add an OK button. So for doing that, I'm coming back here to my flow action uh, layout tab and I'm going to open my section. Uh, here, basically, I'm going to add a new OK button. So I'm going to add a new dynamic layout here and I'm going to add a new button. I want to change some cell properties so let's change the text. It's going to say OK. Also here in presentation I want this button to be centered. So here in advanced presentation options we can find some uh, CSS classes. So I'm going to add one that is called centered, this centered class, and uh, I'm going to also add an action set for click and uh, enter key. And I'm going to add here a close action. So whenever I hit on the OK button, this uh, will close. Okay, so let's save. Let's see how it looks. Okay, let me refresh the screen. Okay, so now I have an OK button here. When I click on it, uh, it just closed the, the model window. Okay, perfect. Now I'm going to change the size of the model. So let's go back to uh, my section. Where is my link? Here I need to change the modal format as well the template format. I'll start by creating my modal format. So for doing that, I need to open my application skin. And at the left, in general, I can see modal dialogs. And I'm going to add a new style here. So I'm going to call it uh, fixed small. Okay, let's submit. I'm going to change dimensions to fixed size. And I'm going to place here height of 260 and width of 350. Also in modal titles, I'm going to use a mixing. So I, I'm going to use the same heading too but you can use uh, any style that you uh, require here I'm going to click on save and now I'm coming back here to my section to my local action and I'm going to change it instead of standard I'm going to place other and I'm going to look for my format fixed small I'm going to use this format. 
also I'll need to change the template uh, given by default so I'm going to open the PSET model template and I'm going to uh, save it as let's just add a new name custom model and I'm going to apply into my profile class just create an open and what I'm going to change here is basically in the layout in the width mm, not fit content but uh, pixels fixed I'm going to submit uh, click here in OK and also in the section make sure uh, the availability is not final but you can change it to uh, available and I'm going to hit on save now I'm going to use uh, this um, this new template my custom model I'm going to submit I'm going to save my changes now let's see how it looks coming back here to my model so as you can see I have a new size for it uh, that is smaller now I'm going to change the background color for doing that I'll create a new style sheet changing the uh, CSS style for this uh, particular class for my model dialog so I'll need to open my developer tools by clicking F12 on my keyboard or also you can open it uh, here in your settings in more tools developer tools if you are using uh, Google Chrome so let's open the developer tools and I'm going to use the inspector to check uh, this div and here I can see this class this is a class I need to change uh, where I need to change my CSS style uh, you can change uh, whatever you need here the font, the color, uh, font weight uh, for this example I'm just going to change the background color uh, so you can uh, test it here so say you want a uh, color red you're just going to increase the opacity and uh, you can just uh, copy this format you are getting here in your uh, style sheet in Pega. Remember, this is client side changes, so uh, you can make any changes that you want for all these properties for your testing, and then uh, copy the CSS code into Pega. Uh, if you want to revert it back, just refresh the the page and, and that's it you will get the model uh, back without any change so let's create now the style sheet in Pega so I'm going back to my Pega Dev Studio here in my application scheme I'm coming here to include the styles tab and here you can see additional style sheets here's where we are going to create our style sheet let's call it my new style model and let's create it and just leave it as it is uh, the file type is CSS just hit on create and open and now here we are you can uh, update a file or you can write your CSS code directly in here okay so now I am doing nothing but uh, copying the class that I found using my inspector for my tip in the model dialog title and I'm applying uh, some background color I'm going to do the same as well for the uh, the next div that is basically my model so by um, copying this class and changing the background color 
up and we can see the update in here I'm going to do it right now okay so I copy here the class as well I am changing the background color for it I'm just going to save um, my new model and here as well in your uh, application skin I'm going to save my new style sheet okay so let me save it okay so remember that uh, the changes that we are adding in here uh, as I'm using uh, this class uh, for my model this is going to change uh, the background for every model in my application so please be careful where uh, you are adding here new style sheets if you need to apply it for a specific model or for a specific section then you will need to create a helper uh, helper class i'm going to leave a link uh, of how you can create a helper class in the description of this video so now let's see uh, how it looks with my new changes with the background color okay so let's refresh this section okay let's hit on the link so as you can see the background color for my model window has changed so uh, now I'm going to change this OK button because it seems weird. So I'm coming back here to my section where my OK button is. And in presentation, I'm just changing the control formal to uh, strong. This is going to be this uh, blue color. Let's see if it seems better. OK, let's close this. And uh, this is how it looks. Uh, you can modify uh, as per your requirement. So uh, this is pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions, please uh, let me know in the below comments. Uh, thank you.